19 plus 2 is 21, plus 4 is 25. You've been cured. I beat it. Angus has overcome his ghoul fever. But I am still so close to death because that ghoul and that firebolt just hurt me real bad. Okay. We already did my heel check for the day, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you continue on. It's getting late. Okay. Late again. Is it time for rest? It's time for rest. Time for rest. Hello, and welcome to The Journey, Eternal Night. I'm your DM, Cade. I'm Angus. I'm Simbar. Last time, where we left off, they just fought a group of three ghouls. After one of us got <laughs> ghoul fever, and then the other ghouls gave me ghoul fever. But then he cured himself of ghoul fever. And I bit one's head off. So also, they have a new favorite enemy. Fuck ghouls. <laughs> hate ghouls so much. Fuck ghouls in particular. <laughs> Oh, that's what we're calling it, in particular. Ghouls in particular. It's even better. So now we have a trait that gives us bonuses against ghouls, because ghouls suck. <laughs> Alright, is it the next day now? Yeah, it's morning. You guys wake up. Alright, let's make a heal check to save this poor man's ghoul chlamydia. <laughs> And I'm making a heal check to save him from this disease. So it's a 16 plus 7 is 23. He gets the bonus. Alright. Oh, come on. So he has a bonus of 4. <gasps> Speak of the devil. 4. So speaking of 4, yeah. He got a 4. He got a 4, so He's it's not a 8. Roll the d6 for your minuses. Hasn't he already done that? No. Not for the day. That's okay. 3. The Constitution, and that is one to dexterity. How are you holding up there? Six so Constitution far. and ten dexterity. Excuse me. I can die tomorrow. Well, let's get to that castle. All right, so you guys finally get there. Two. Menacing. The Sorcerer's Tower. All right. What is what is the tower like? It's a big castle-like structure, gray. Has banners flying with with red, with a lightning bolt signalizing the sorcerer's legion. Pretty cool. All right. There's a small town. And they go up to the castle and knock on it. Well, they have they kind of have a post where a sorcerer is appointed the day. What? To kind of heal people. Oh, okay. I'm going to the post. Let's go to that. Help people post. out, see what they need. So, so the, people aren't just going and bugging all the sorcerers. It's like, it, okay, it's, they have it's, a secretary. It's the SJ. <laughs> it's the shit job. All right, sorcerers. And you see, you meet a sorceress named Celine. I go up to her and say, "I have ghoul fever. Can you help me? I'm really close to dying." Yeah, we'll help. Well, we're not really healers, but we'll see what we can do. Come inside. Okay. And she goes, "You." Yes, me. One of one of Sorcerer Rainer's experiments got out. <laughs> Will you go catch it for me? Will it help heal my friend? Probably not. What is it? It's a dog. Some sort of dog experiment. I'm not sure what the details are. Alright, how do I catch this thing? I don't know. There's footprints that way. Why don't you follow? Hey! <laughs> Alright. See you in a bit, Angus. I, I get half my level... Um, added to my survival check for tracking. So, let's go find this thing. No fun with that. Alright, I'm going to roll a survival check. 11 plus 6. 17 on, on tracking. You find, you see in a field, a bunch of holes being dug, and you see a human-sized corgi with tiny legs Digging in the field, running about. <laughs> so you're saying I found a dire corgi? Yes, a dire corgi. Okay. Let's... <laughs> Let's do this slowly and surely. I'm going to approach the corgi. I'm going to roll a handle animal check to befriend this corgi. Twelve plus... Nine is twenty-one. 
It starts panting at you like... <laughs> You're a cute... I guess not little Corey. <laughs> You're a cute little guy. I'm gonna name you Dry. <laughs> and that is how Angus met his faithful companion Dry. <laughs> Alright Dry, let's go and celebrate us getting to level 4 together. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> You go back to the sorceress, and she's like, oh, cool, you found him. Thank you. Do, do I have to return him? I don't care, being honest. <laughs> it's not my dog. And well, he probably won't notice either. He just got loose. As long as it's taken care of. I am lawful good, so I should check with the sorcerer himself. Where do I find the sorcerer? Um, he's probably at the tavern right now. A tavern. Something tells me I should... Not takes him bar. Well, he's inside right now, being treated. How's that going, by the way? We should roll for that. Yeah, let's let's check in on Simbar. Hey, Simbar, how you doing? <laughs> no! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the sorcerer has rolled a natural one. Roll a d6 for each of your penalties. <laughs> four and a four. <laughs> never gonna get rid of this disease. They man, it, they, they make a mistake and it slowly and it got got worse and spread. Yes. But they managed to stabilize it. But there's no but using their magic they made it. So I took the penalty, but it's stopping here. It's stopping here. <laughs> but you, it's gonna be almost impossible to get it cured. Mo, you'll probably need a level, a really high level cleric. Can I still do my heal checks? No. None of that will work anymore. That was a natural one. <laughs> so you've, you, you've okay, basically it's now. caused your... <laughs> and it's permanent unless I find a healer. Yeah, unless you find a powerful, like... <laughs> yes. So you've paused your disease for the time being. Until you find someone who has just incredible healing power. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I have. Only you knew someone like that. <laughs> At least I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm just gonna say so, thank you. So from now on, my constitution is two, and my dexterity is six. So he's gonna take a minus four to dexterity. Oh my god. No, a minus three to dexterity. No, wait, no. Hold on, that is... Minus two. No, minus two to dexterity. And then minus four to constitution. You, I have to admit, look like See, the I'm most twenty now. Eight, eighteen now. Wait, you look like the further? most sickly now you have a frail minus two line. Dexterity. So eighteen. Huh? You look like what happens when a lion gets imprisoned at a zoo for its whole life. <laughs> like. <laughs> You look like something that poachers would pass up. I'm sorry, buddy. You want to go to the tavern? <laughs> no. <laughs> want to go to the tavern? Good, because with that constitution, you ain't getting any drinking done. <laughs> they have a, this tavern has its own drinking game. <laughs> I'm going to ask them straight up, do you know of any place of any healer that might be able to help in any way? Sorcerers are like, no, we don't really like clerics much. I don't blame you. They're, right now, they're my the, best the friends. Sorcerer, the tavern looks fun. That's where all the bards hang out. <laughs> Plus, I gotta, ask, I, I gotta ask this sorcerer what to do with Dry. Alright, Dry, let's go. Uh, Alright, we're in the tavern now, right? Yep. Do I see the sorcerer? Yes. Sorcerer, ho! How... Are you today? Doing good. As you can see, I've brought back your dire corgi. Oh, neat! Thank you. Cool. <laughs> I really. <laughs> huh. That's awkward. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So thank you. Taking him. Probably gonna have to put him down. But anyway. Wait. What? Why are you gonna put him down? This is an experiment. That's what you do with experiments. What knowledge? If? What if? You don't put him down. Mm -hmm. Why not? Because I can put him down for you. 
So that way you don't have to have the guilt on yourself of putting down one of your own experiments. One of your own creations. Blood for diplomacy. Or Roll bluff for diplomacy. Bluff? Is that bluff or diplomacy? Mm. That's a bluff. Bluff. <laughs> and that's a 15 plus 3. 18. You know, I know you're tricking me. No, <laughs> <laughs> now he goes, cool. Yeah, sure. Sweet. You want to play this drinking game with me? What's the drinking game? All right, you take a gold piece, you flick it into the into the mug, and then you drink it. If you can beat me, I'll even throw in his collar. What's his collar made out of? I don't know. Magic rope. Deal. <laughs> Let's do this. So I gotta use one of my own gold pieces? Yeah. Alright. Roll your dex dexterity modifier. It comes into play here. Dexterity. 19 plus 2 is 21. Seven. Yeah, do you guys both flick in your first one and drink your first mug? There's five mugs. First one, drink all five. Five mugs, jeez. Natural 20. Whoa. He has one in each hand. That beats my 14. Flips two coins in and just double chugs them. You All drink right. one too. 10 plus 2, 12. You drink one, he gets a 14, he drinks one. Alright, and a natural one on my part. You pass out drunk and lose. Let's hope I swallow the coin. And you swallow the coin. So Dang it! <laughs> I like that! <laughs> <laughs> Someone do something! <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna sit here and close my eyes for a second. You're joking. Um, I have a. I have your... the endurance feat. Okay. So, I have. Uh, I believe a plus four? Yeah, I have a plus four to stuff like this. Cool. So I'm going to roll to not choke. Three plus four is seven. That is, you do not. You're still choking. I'm going to run over and give him the Heimlich. Heimlich. I'll let you add your strength to that. Good. Sixteen. All right, roll for a, D, a D4 for another damage. <laughs> Three. Three. Six. Oh, no. damage. He cracks one of your ribs and he spit out the corn. <laughs> but on the bright side, the sorcerer felt so bad for you, he gives you a bright red glowing collar. Cool. And it's nap time. <laughs> <laughs> your, your dire cord comes up and curls with you. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay, so... What do I roll to come to? No, I mean, you were just taking a nap. You weren't, like, knocked unconscious. Alright, can I can I roll to <laughs> regain you're just, some hit points? Huh? Can I get some hit points from this nap? Yeah, I'll let you have a d4. That's one. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, How was my hangover? It's really bad. <laughs> God! It feels like I broke a rib. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Can't believe you, Mufasa. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you haven't eaten in like a week. <laughs> <laughs> also, you haven't killed anything yet today. I know. It's been two days. No, you killed that ghoul. Oh, killed right. Him. I forgot it was it's a ghoul. It's been one day. In one day. Well, we haven't killed anything yet today. You killed something yesterday. Yeah, so today. So no, no penalty yet. So you guys are at Moose, so and you're going to try to head toward the Keep of Eternal Night? Or are you going to try to get some information here? How far away is the first town that we started in? <sighs> you know, I just thought... It's a good idea that you went with the Heimlich, because if I had passed out and you had to give me mouth to mouth, I don't know how you'd do that with a horse. Line. Big enough mouth, you go over the nose, same thing you do as a dog. You cover the no uh, nose and the mouth. Yeah, but that would look ridiculous. 
Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna eat you. Also, then when I <laughs> like came back, I throw up like directly into your. Throat. Oh god! <laughs> it's like a. I mean, a I appreciate it, but I don't think I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> okay, okay. The tavern we started in is ten days away. Yeah. Why would we go back there? The guy who sent us on this quest. Maybe as if he's still there? Maybe. No. I mean, it's you a don't baby. see him just. I remember he disappeared, yeah. Right. He, right. He didn't disappear, he just faded, literally faded from existence. Yeah, he kind of Star Wars Force faded. <laughs> okay, so, um. Let's just ask around if they know anything about these keys. I'm gonna keep sleeping with my corgi. You gonna this go is... talk to your sorcerer friend? Yeah. Alright, so your sorcerer's like. Oh yeah, uh, then those unlock that treasure. That's me. Yeah, do you know of any other rumored locations? Well, just the one that's really close, the keep. But I'm mm -hmm. sure you know about that one already. Yeah. It's supposed to be, it's on Dead Island. Alright. Which is really misleading because it's actually, what actually lives on that place are... Young, beautiful women. Are the, between the ages of 16 that and are healers. That are, are healers. Are the Obi-2. A race of undead warriors. Ne a long time a necromancer tried to make a stronger army but made sentient skeletons. They're pretty peaceful. They're really nice. Don't, you know, go there and slaughter people for no reason. Gotcha. I mean, I could. Alright, uh. I'm not going to. What's but the quickest way there? We're not technically living or dead. What's the quickest way there? Well, we probably have to take a boat. Wait, so what about this island? That's where the next Dead Island. The Keep of Eternal Night there, and that's where Necromancers. They're, they've been slowly solving all the puzzles to get to unlock the, the Key of Shadow. Okay, yeah. Keep Sorry, I'm hungover. <laughs> okay. But on the bright side, the Obito are at war with these Necromancers, so they'll probably help you. Alright, alright, that's good to know. Um, so is there... Someone we can hire for the boat to get there, or...? Well, you probably have to go... Go to the small sea and see if there's any... Any boats or anything. There's not really a lot of towns over there, so you have to see what's around. Alright, so, thanks. You sure there's no other way for me to get my stuff back up? My energy and such? Nope, you're gonna have to find a really powerful healer. Okay. I'm sorry about that one. Alright. Don't you worry, I believe in you. Just because you look sickly and gross doesn't mean you don't still have that fight in you. Also, be really careful. If another girl bites you, it could reactivate it. So let's stay away from those. Thanks. So we're gonna go to the sea right. and see if there's any boats. Yeah, let's see if we have any sorcerer boats. We got healers. You guys gonna buy horses or anything to try to speed up your journey? I mean, we move pretty fast. We're going on a boat. Right. <laughs> I feel like that's an inconvenience. This is very inconvenient. Okay, so perception check on sorcerers with boats at the dock. 19. Plus all that jazz. There are boats, but you realize it's a... The lake isn't that big. It's more of a leisure lake. Because you're not at the ocean. I thought <laughs> that we were going to this island. No. You are going to this island. You know what? That's an honest mistake. The, the sorcerer did not give us clear directions. Plus, you know what? I don't really want to... She knew you had a map with the Keep of Eternal Night. Yeah, but I just assumed that she was talking about a place close to them. So... It's not far. So we're gonna go on a journey. <laughs> um, Unexpected journey. Yeah, it's kind of unexpected. I thought we were just gonna go for a little swim. Um, Unfortunately. Yeah. Let's let's get out of here. Yeah. So we're gonna go east. Anything? It's sick. It's the first day. Fun times, you know. I still look like I'm gonna die. Or that I am dead. 
Hey, I hope you blend in. <laughs> when in Rome. Nearly die. <laughs> Come close to death, peck her on the cheek, and just stay there, awkwardly. Do you guys remember that Typhling that got away? No. He's come back with friends. What was the Typhling? The one that we didn't kill because we showed mercy. You, what do you mean we? I said it's still alive. You wanted to kill, but then you decided no. That one's on you. No more mercy! So abandon 12 Typhlings attacks you. Initiative, it's or do we have a... Initiative. It's a strong... That's eight. I have initiative modified. Oh, that's the deck. That's right. a two. <laughs> you could have minus yeah, two I'm on minus. I completely <laughs> forgot about that. <laughs> Roll. <laughs> You're so gross. Was that... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so three plus two is five total on my initiative. <laughs> <laughs> ha! You guys suck. We're not on our game anymore. What, five? Five total. We're not on our game anymore. Uh, I'm just gonna say they have all the same. Now yeah. We're about Twelve times. What I do need to do. And while the DM counts, all right. this is how we're going to end this episode on a cliffhanger. So thank you for watching. Please be sure to rate and subscribe and share and like and favorite and comment. And or especially witty comments. And view. Those. Don't forget to view. All right. Thank you.